Hi, welcome back. We're going to be looking at Recon NG, which I suppose is Recon Next Generation. But hey, we're going to install that on a standard Linux Mint installation. So right here on the screen, let's go ahead and look at that. We'll do an LSB release. Dash A, and you can see we're using Linux Mint 20.3. Now we're using standard repositories here, so we're going to go ahead and do an app get install, and we're going to look at Recon NG, and I'm going to do a dash Y on there and go ahead and install that that application. Um, we did get a uh, version five there, so you can see that it got version five. I think 5.1 is the current version, but that's okay. Version five is completely up to date for everything that we want to do. So over there, uh, I already have sudo aliased for this, so I did not have to type sudo. You will need to type sudo unless you have it aliased as I do. Okay, let's go ahead and type recon ng and press enter. All right, there we go. We've got uh, recon ng is up and running here, and we actually have a couple of exploitation modules and recon modules there. But let's look at how to find modules. The first thing you're going to do is marketplace search. When we do a marketplace search, you can see that there are a bunch of modules out here, a bunch of capabilities that Recon NG gives you. And you can go through and just, you know, kind of like select any of these that you want. So um, if it has a dependency or a K for a key, then it's going to show you over there. Anything with a dependency and a key will come up as an error, uh, it'll give you a little red warning, uh, may disable it, etc. when you start that. So just be aware that if you install something that requires a key and you don't have the key installed, then it may disable it or it'll give you a warning about it in any case. So we can look down through here, we see contacts, um, unmangle, uh, full contact, um, hashes.org for credentials. Uh, we can keep looking down, we've got some pwned lists there. And uh, ah, hacker target, we've got that one. Well, let's get that one. We don't have that one yet. So let's go ahead and install that one. You won't have it installed yet. I just installed it, so um, I've got it. So looking on down through here, let's go ahead and install that. So what you type is marketplace, install, and hacker target, just like that. And it'll go through and install that for us, and then we'll have it up and running so then we'll have that now let's say that you're looking at this and you're thinking wow you know I really like to have all the import I like to have all these installed so I'd like to have those there well they don't have any dependencies and they don't have any keys so what we do is we just go over here and say marketplace install import it'll go through find everything under import and install those for us. So now we've got all the imports there. Now if we uh, do a show modules, <laughs> then it'll show us nothing, nothing at all. Um, let me go over and type the right command. And in this case, we're just gonna use the marketplace search option. So marketplace, and we'll do a search. And as we go through the marketplace search, you can see that we've got different modules installed there. If you want to install the exploitation, type marketplace install the exploitation. And that will install the exploitation modules as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with hacker target. Now, I'm going to use hackthissite.org. It's a site that allows you to um, hack it so as we're going through and hacking a site now hack hacker target does not really hack anything it's just pulling down publicly information publicly available information so it's not hacking the website but just to be safe what we're going to use is hack this site.org because I know that they don't mind so let's go ahead and do a modules load and we're gonna do a hacker target all right, now you can see we're in hacker target now. We can see what kind of options there are. Uh, we can see that it um, there is a required option and that value is currently default. That is required, so we need to change it. So let's go over there and let's change that to what we need. And we're gonna say options, set, and we're gonna type source and we're gonna make it hack 
this site.org. All right. Now, if we go back over into an options list, then you'll see this now hack this site.org. Now, for this, all we have to do is type run. It will go through and pull down the information on that site. If you want to pull down additional information, we type show hosts and look at it in that nice little table format. But that's all there is to it. So it is very straightforward, very easy to use. Now, if you want to go unset it, we'll do an options and we'll do an unset source like that, or which gives us the um, nothing right there. Or we can always go through and do that options set source back to default if you want to do that. And then that gives us back to default. Now to get out of uh, Recon NG, just type exit. And there you go. You're out. So that is all for Recon NG. Now there are a lot of different options for Recon NG. And I encourage you to check those out so you can see what kind of options are available and to go through and use those options where you know it's safe. I hope that this has helped and I look forward to talking to you again in the future.